all four Thomas, I'll, I'll start with you. How do you work out what's going on out there? You've got people heading the ball, three balls being served. How do you work out what's going on? Well, it's uh, difficult, but a lot of fun. It's great to, to share the court with these guys and especially play with the, together with Mats. Um, uh, so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. You enjoy it, obviously, coming out. Any special tricks that you bring here? Um, I mean, again, like it's, it's incredible to be able to have the chance to, you know, meet your friends and to, to be able to play on this on this on this court and in front of the crowd again and watch some good tennis in the evening. And it's, uh, I mean, I'm fortunate. Matt, uh, you get great support here, despite the fact that you beat Pat Cash in the first final here. And I'm going to talk to Goran about his Wimbledon as well. So, Ozzy still support you though, which is nice to see. All right, true. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, we did end up meeting up at Metro. Uh, the nightclub of the 80s, and I think I bought the shot. So I think he actually owes me in the end of it. But yeah, we have uh, had unbelievable support in, here in the Australian Open, all the Swedish fans over the years. Um, and uh, we always did really well here. I think, I'm not sure why, but we Swedes just love Australia, and uh, Australians love Swedes. Is that it? <laughs> Correct. They've actually had to shut that nightclub now, so that's uh, no longer there after you and Pat were there. You also showed us the Vish sign, which. Uh, Leighton Hewitt adapted to his own. Came from a board game, that's right? It came from a Yahtzee, a player called Niklas Kroon, uh, and he would play Yahtzee, so he roll the dice, and the follow-through of the dice was Vist, meaning all right in Swedish. And uh, during the 88 Australian Open, I had this uh, uh, everyday sort of habit of winning every other day and going to Metro <laughs> and have a couple of beers, a day off, train hard, and, and eventually Niklas Kroon said, I'm leaving, I'm going home. I said, oh, come on, you can't leave. We're having so much fun. I'm playing so well. And he said, I'll tell you what, I'll stay if you give us the Wisch sign. I'm like, what is that? So that was the reason why I started doing it, because I didn't want uh, Peter Lundgren and Niklas Kroon to go home. And Leighton adapted it beautifully as well. Well done, Matt. We certainly love having you here. Wayne, we love having you here as well. You managed to keep up with all these guys. Enjoy it. Got a nice sweat up, though. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we're privileged to have the opportunity to come back out here and play in this arena. So always, always enjoyable. And uh, Goran, we did speak about Matt's and his defeat of Pat Cash, Pat Rafter it was for you at uh, Wimbledon, wasn't it? So Australians still cheer and love you, though. Yeah, I, I th you think I should feel sorry, but I'm not. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to win, and Pat is a nice guy, and, and he has two US Open, so I think it was uh, time for me to win something. <laughs> you love getting out here as well. Uh, you're heading the ball. It's really enjoyable, isn't it? Yeah, it's great to be with these guys on the court, and it's a little bit, uh, little bit hot, but thank you guys for coming, uh, and uh, it's, really, it's really beautiful to be in this country. Fantastic. We'll let them head to the showers as well. They've all got responsibilities in the commentary box and various Bounce. other duties as well. But please thank Goran Ivanisevic, Wayne Ferreira, and our two Swedes, Thomas and Mats. Yeah, our great legends busy boys. doubles here all on Magic Corner. Uh, that's there.